episode of Because Space is sponsored by Archer 1999. All new episodes premiere May 29th on FXX. I'm so excited to talk about the multiverse in this episode of Because Space. Sometimes I wonder if there's another version of myself doing the same thing. Maybe this exact same episode right now. Sometimes I wonder if there's another version of myself doing the same thing. Maybe this exact same episode right now. Wouldn't it be cool if life was like Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse? I wonder what would be different. Like maybe she has Peter Parker instead of Peter Porker. I wonder what would be different. Like maybe she has Peter Porker instead of Peter Parker. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse is just a movie. But are multiverses science, science fact? fact? Or science fiction? Our understanding of the universe is built upon solid scientific theories, but there are still tremendous ongoing efforts to understand what we see and what we don't see. We have several scientific theories that allow for the existence of multiple universes. These are the theories that have been fueling your favorite sci-fi fandoms, like Rick and Morty, A Wrinkle in Time, and Futurama. So let's explore some of these weird ways scientists propose that the multiverse is structured. First, let's chat about the pillars of physics that we understand. We have people like smart boy Isaac Newton and smart boy Albert Einstein to thank for the theories that allow us to understand how large objects behave. We know how apples fall and hit your head, how satellites orbit around the Earth, and how their speed can affect these principles. However, when the object in question is much, much smaller is when things get weird. When these objects are far slower than the speed of light, we have the field of quantum mechanics. And for super fast particles, there is quantum field theory. The trouble is, when you take the laws from this box and apply it to this box, it doesn't work. One of the major differences is how you think of a particle. You can think of it as a dot, boop, as a wave, ooh, or as a vibrating string. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Scientists are using the theory of a vibrating string called string theory as a framework to unite the classical and quantum world. It is far from perfect, which is why there are several explanations that exist to help fill in the gap. On a daily basis, we're aware of the three spatial dimensions and one time dimension that we live in. You can see three of these dimensions captured all at once in time-lapse photos. You have their two-dimensional position, their X and their Y, and you also have time captured. An interesting byproduct of string theory is that it predicts that extra dimensions exist beyond the three spatial dimensions and the one time dimension. There are several outstanding hypotheses about multiverses and how they're arranged. The first hypothesis is called a bubble universe, where each universe exists as pockets of space that never intersect. Inflation is a theory of exponential expansion which started 10 to the minus 36 seconds after the Big Bang or 36 zeros after the decimal point. That is super small. Direct observations indicate that the universe continues to expand, but less rapidly than the initial expansion. If you are among the theorists that are looking into the eternal inflation model of the universe, then the implication is that it continues to create infinite number of the bubble universes. Just like a bubble machine that keeps blowing bubbles, there could be universes where the inflation has ended and others where they're still inflating. There's also a possibility that the laws of physics and fundamental constants might be different in hours depending on the state of inflation. Bubble universes have been used very little, if at all, in entertainment. There have been movies and books such as A Wrinkle in Time that allow for travel to different independently evolving worlds with laws of physics vastly different from ours by wrinkling space-time to travel from point A to point B more efficiently. The ability to defy the laws of physics as we know it in those worlds would have made a lot of sense if they traveled to a different bubble universe versus traveling farther in the same universe. This has not gained as much popularity as other conjectures, but who knows, there could be a book in the making right now that will leverage the concept of bubbles. Another hypothesis about multiverses is that it is arranged in a parallel fashion, where multiple 3D universes are like cards in a deck, or a brain world, as predicted by string theory. 
A brain is an extended object which may have particular number of dimensions. Strings in string theory are examples of a one dimension or a one brain. Our universe is a three brain. These brain worlds do not have to necessarily be parallel and may collide, causing another big bang that can reset the universes over and over again. Just like every other hypothesized configuration, there is yet to be observable evidence that this exists. On the other hand, this is a very popular theme observed in your favorite TV shows, movies, and books. In TV, there are examples of having only one parallel universe, such as the upside down in Stranger Things. In this application, there is some form of quantum entanglement connecting the two worlds which allow for communication between the two parallel universes. Other shows depict multiple parallel universes, such as the Farnsworth Paradox episode of Futurama, or the multiple Earths that exist in the Arrowverse. An interesting variant to parallel universes is the more probabilistic approach of daughter universes. In the world of quantum mechanics, you're not looking at definite outcomes, but probabilities. Look at your morning commute to work. There is some probability that you'll choose to take surface streets or a different highway exit. With each decision, there stems a daughter universe where you made the alternate choice. My favorite example of this is in the Rick and Morty episode, A Rickle in Time. There was a probability associated with each successive decision, no matter how certain or uncertain they are feeling about each move. This episode is great at illustrating how daughter universes can propagate using quantum mechanics and add a sprinkle of humor. You can imagine that with all of these theories, there can exist infinite versions of that possibility, and in one of those infinite universes, there is someone just like you doing something similar or possibly slightly different. You can see this theme referenced often by Rick Sanchez when he says, Ugh, there's an infinite number of realities, Morty. Whether there are infinite parallel universes or infinite flat universes on a cosmic quilt, it is an intriguing thought that has yet to be scientifically proven. Depending on the model, string theory suggests up to 11 dimensions, but we can only detect or measure three plus time. These extra dimensions contain a mix of space-time dimensions and mirror planes. This begs the question, do they even exist? As scientists, we want to be able to have some form of predictability based on the theory. Just like we use Kepler's laws to predict the orbits of bodies in our universe, we want to take the theory and make observational predictions to prove that the theory is correct. There are dissenting opinions that suggest that the theory of multiverses should not be considered a science fact because it has not been tested. Well, there are a lot of concepts that lived in the theoretical world for quite some time before there was direct observational evidence, so that's not enough to dismiss multiverses entirely. As recently as a few years ago, we finally detected gravity waves for the first time, far after Einstein's theory of relativity predicted them. There are scientists working on simulations to determine what specifically the observer will see if bubble universes collide. In order to determine the best experiment to prove its existence, in his last publication, Stephen Hawking proposed that the multiverse left its imprint on the background radiation in our universe that we could measure. In order to measure the effect of something small, you need energy. The smaller it is, the more energy you need to detect it. With the recent detection of gravitational waves and high energy tools such as the Large Hadron Collider, there are a growing set of tools that could be used to measure the phenomenon predicted by string theory. So if you're hoping for a definitive answer on whether multiverses are science fiction or science fact, I'm here to tell you that it's science fact. I mean, multiverses cannot be considered science fact yet, but the theory suggests it's true and significant headway has been made. Do you only believe the things that you see? So if you're hoping for a definitive answer on whether multiverses are science fiction or science fact, I'm here to tell you that it is science fiction. I mean, multiverses cannot be considered science fact yet, even though the theory suggests it's true, but significant headway has been made. I have to see it to believe it. Because space! Welcome to the space-tastic world of Archer 1999. New episodes of Archer 1999 premieres this Wednesday on FXX.